Okay, so I'm trying to demonstrate how the automation in the Swift 16 scoreboard works. So I've gotten the scoreboard for, here we go, for double trouble from Reiko. So I'm going to take this finalized data and I'm going to copy it without formatting into race four. Ooh, does that not work? Okay, control copy, control V, control Z. Huh, I cannot, can I not paste without formatting? Edit, paste special. Let's try values only. Huh, how odd. What happens if, wow, okay, anyways. Um, so whatever, I guess we'll paste with formatting. And then, okay, so that, ah, uh, that's got some conditional stuff. So then I'm just going to paint the format of this over that. Now I need to have, um, oops. So for this currently, it's mislabeled, I need to have the ship be fourth. Well, let's see. Okay, so let's first move. This is going to be in order. So we're just going to go one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I probably could have automated that. The problem is I'm pulling from over here where this is a formula. So if I had copied and passed, pasted the data rather than formulas, that probably would have worked. So I'm going to get that out of the way and put that over in this column so that I can move the name to column one. And I should probably change these columns since this seems to be more standard position, commander, ship, name, ship type. But for now I've got commander and then position, oops, and then we're going to have ship type, here we go, and then ship name. So now I've gotten my data into the same format. Now I'm going to paint this format over here just so it looks nice. Okay, now we go up. And all this is blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy from over here and copy to here. Okay, now we only have, so this is looking up here. And it's seeing who is that. And then it's seeing how many points do you get. So this is actually looking up Shay. And so it's going over here and it's saying, hey, in race four, what position did Shay get? And so it goes down and it looks and it looks for Shay and it sees Shay is second. And so then it goes and it looks up on this points value and it says second place gets you nine points. So then we go back to our unlimited math and we go up here and it says, okay, his race points are nine and then adds those to the season points from last time, which gives us 39. And then it ranks this column. And so it says for season rank, he is one. And then it compares that season rank to his previous season rank and gives you the change in rank. So we can see if we look over and um, H3, what we can do, we can change this race here to be race four, and that will now update everything here to be race four. And so we will look and double check stuff and see that, ah, okay, in this last race, Skurv got first, so he got 10 points, he's now got 27. And that did not change his position at all. 
Shea got nine points, which brings him to 39, did not change his position. Bruski got eight points, did not, okay. And so these are checking out. Ephesus in this race placed ninth and got two points. So all this math automatically happens, and this is all automatically sorted. And if I wanted to see what did the results look like after race three, I could change this number to race three. And then I can see after race three, what the scoreboard looked like. And then I can go to race one, for example. And that's just making all this, offsetting it and equaling it to that. Um, and it's offsetting it by this number. So it's making this equal to the offset multiplied by how many races over we want to look. So we can see after race one, like this is what the scoreboard looked like. Like Aiken wasn't on it. And danger pencil wasn't on it and then then we would have to sort this one by this column so i wonder if i could automate that sorting anyways i can change this to four and then i can go look over here and this is all great and this is pretty much sorted got a few position changes and so what i'm going to do is Sort this data by column C. Sort range by column C, A to Z, sort. And there we are. And I think I could have actually sorted it over here too. Yeah, let's undo that. Yeah, so what we're going to do instead is we are going to sort this sheet by column A. Data, sort range by column A. And that gets us into order, and then we're ready to publish. I just copy-paste this into a document, and we are good to go. Now I'm going to do the same for regulation. Now I'm not sure... I'm not sure I actually got the regulation sheet completely working with all the fancy math now, because I'm kind of worried about that. Because I had that for the uh, for the uh, unlimited sheet. So let me see what I can do. Oh, the other thing I need to watch out for, and maybe this is an issue. Are there new people who wouldn't show up here? So this is looking at people who had no points before. Oh yes, okay, so I would have to add those. That's something I have to do. So one, two, three, four. So I've ever gotten fifth is Reiko, the host. And so what we need to do is delete the host. And then we get a five. And then we also see that Reiko is actually out of place. So we need to resort. But we'll do that later. Five, damn it. I should have a way to automatically add people or show me when, what is this? Danger pencil did not come in fifth. That's race three. Cool, danger pencil is not in this race. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so 19 I need to add, 20, 21, so 19, and what all I should have to do is go over here and add a name, and then Yeah, that shows up. 
there we get 19. So but my next goal might be to automate that. 22 is J space. Did we have a 22, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay. So J space, Heliax, and Evil Raven. If we move over here. Not Cartalis, Cartalis is already here. Let's copy some formatting. Cool. This goes to 42 people, which I think should include everybody. And so it's only on the animated scoreboard that we'll be missing everyone. This has, okay, we do need one more row of black at the bottom. Cool. And so we've got everyone. And so that's updating the scoreboard. And I mean, that did not take long. How long have I been recording? 12 minutes, that's with mess adding some stuff um, and that gives us position change in position racer their most recent ship their most recent ship type their change in points and their overall points so we can now see um, that Shay is let's see Shay is six points ahead of me who's six points ahead of Skur who is nine points ahead of Alec, who's one point ahead of Apophis, who's one point ahead of... <gasps> oh no, we didn't resort, because Reiko should be in fourth. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure I should show people just how messy my updates are. But there's lots of math, so it's okay. Right? Sort range by column A to Z. There we go, Reiko. Now Reiko got his credit. Okay. Cool. Um... Okay. And yes. Two. Okay. So, who's seven points ahead of Reiko, two points ahead of Alec, one point ahead of Epiphus, one point ahead of Aiken B, two points ahead of Sulu, two points ahead of Kevin the Stabber, five points ahead of J Space. Kalem and Danger Pencil didn't participate in this race, and so they remain tied for 11th place with six points. We've got a triple tie for 13th place. And then a bunch of people in the three point club two-point club and the one-point club. Only three people in the four-point club. Only three people who have managed to make it to all, and I'm not even sure that all of those have only gotten one point. So I recall Edelgard and Edelgard score better in one of the races. We can go back to our map. We can look at where is the Edelgard. Race one, race two, race three, race four. That is incredibly, 19, 10, 18, 18, incredibly consistent. Well done. Anyways, um, so let's see if, 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 if I can update the regulation math the same way I had unlimited math without absolutely fucking everything. So this is, uh, okay, so that's the first thing. So what I'm going to do 
is go down to row 100 in regulation. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Let's go over here. Let's get our regulation. Let's get our little stuff. Oh, not regulation, man. Let's go to race four. I hope we don't get more than 100 races in this season. It'll break my sheet. You don't just have to answer that. I actually would love it if we got that many. Okay, so for race four. This we should have place, name, and ship name. So going to unlimited math, what this should do is look up the name. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to copy this and just I'm going to have it. So, first, it's looking up an X100 to Y124. Oh, because we're looking up the name it actually does have to be backwards. So for the unlimited, we have to go name, because we're it's essentially we're making a little baby database. So what we need to do is move those over, move those over, move those over, and move these over. Then, we can make it pretty, very important. Oops. And then what we do is align that way. There we go. Okay. So, oops. yikes. Okay. So, what it should be doing. What do you mean an out of bounds range? So it's looking up B3, which is Osric. It should be looking up B3 in range Y100. Ooh, X100. Okay, here we go. Okay. X1. Okay. Then. That okay. So, is it true that Osric got three points? No, <laughs> that's not good. This is for regulation. Oh, that would be unlimited. That's on that screen. Osric got three points. Yes, it is true. Oh no, it's not true. He got three points. Is it true his race position was third? Yes. Did he get eight points? Yes. Should his season points be thirty-three? Yes. Should his season rank? V1. Uh, should it? Oh, I, I, yeah. Fuck. Fuck me. Well done, Isaac. And, uh, damn. Seriously? What? What? 
Oh, I moved up too. Okay, got it. Oh, dang. Dang, this scoreboard has changed a lot. And this one had automated sorting. Row equals A to... Okay. So this... Okay, so this has to be sorting something. I see some points. Oh, this is race three. I'm gonna have to go by race four. There we go. Now by race four, we now need to sort the sheet. That, instead of equaling the row, should equal the season rate, right? Yes. So we're going to change that to equal the season rank. There we are. Now we can sort. Oh, first of all, we need to make sure we have places for all of this. So, one, two, three, four, five. Who's in sixth? Aiken. So we need a new Aiken. B. We need to take the host off Rico. That will get him points. Okay. Oh. Uh, these are just already set up to go. Cool. So we should just be able to take him B. So grumpy. Offset. Yeah, that one. D three zero five times E one. Okay. E versus F. Oh, because this one doesn't have a space for the ship type. Whatever. Get over it. Okay, there we go. So now we got the current race ranking. Now it should be looking up in E100 through H100. But we're actually going to want it in D100 through G100. Cool. stuff. Apparently this is not ready for prime time yet. Okay. Now for regulation. Okay, we have made it to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve is missing. Twelve is sinister hedgehog. Mr. Indigo, I 
could have sworn we had Mr. Indigo on here already. Maybe just an unlimited. There we go. It needs to be 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Edelgard von Rhein. Seriously? Didn't have it? Okay. Ah, well, I see the problem. There we go. Edelgard von Rhein. Now we have a 19, 20, 21. No, 22. Who is Leroy Jethro Tull? scoreboard which needs some more people let's go to 47 scoreboard. So, there's some automation. There's not enough automation, and I need to make it more automated. But it is getting closer to the point where with unlimited, and now with regulation, you should be able to paste in the data, and then get all the math done. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I haven't figured out how to add in new names over here yet. I bet I could figure that out if it like yeah but that's too much for right now when I should be lesson planning anyways that was your introduction to the sweet swift 16 scoreboard update process so thank you very much